Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says four consecutive positive even integers have a product of 13, 440. What are the integers? So it means something like two times four times six times eight or four times six times eight times 10. There are some four consecutive even integers that multiply to 13, 440. We could just keep guessing and checking and trying more and more of these, but I wanna see if we can do it algebraically. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Let's call the first even integer x. So the next even integer will have to be two more than that. So it'd be x plus two. And then we do the same thing to get the next two integers. And we need these to multiply to 13, 440. Next, if we multiply all these out, it's gonna take us a while and it will give us this right here. And then we can subtract 13, 440 from both sides and we get all of this equal to zero. This can be solved, but it'll take quite a bit of work. Let me show you a shortcut. Instead of having the four terms be these, let's have them be these right here. They're all still two apart from each other, so these are four consecutive even integers. They're just expressed a little bit differently. And if we rearrange them like this, then we have a difference of two squares and another difference of two squares. So x plus one times x minus one is just x squared minus one. And then x minus three times x plus three is just x squared minus nine. And then multiplying these out is significantly easier than multiplying this out. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative nine is negative nine x squared. Negative one times x squared is negative one x squared, and negative one times negative nine is positive nine. We can combine like terms. This negative nine x squared minus one x squared will become negative 10 x squared. And then we can subtract 13, 440 from both sides, and we end up with x to the fourth minus 10 x squared minus 13, 431 equals zero. This is significantly easier than this. We can factor out this left-hand side. We need two numbers that add to negative 10 and multiply to negative 13, 431. This will take a little bit of trial and error, but that ends up being negative 121 and positive 111. And then x squared minus 121 is another difference of two squares. That gives us x minus 11 times x plus 11. And then we can just copy down the rest of this stuff. And now that we have this factored, we can solve for each of these. For x squared plus 11 equals zero, we can subtract 11 from both sides. That'll give us x squared equals negative 11. And that has two imaginary solutions, plus or minus i root 11. After we plug this in up here and subtract 3, it will not give us an even integer, so this is not a valid solution. And then for x plus 11, we can subtract 11 from both sides and we get x equals negative 11. That won't give us a positive even integer, so that is also not a valid solution. And then for the last one, x minus 11, if we add 11 to both sides, we get x equals 11. And x equals 11 will work for us. So let's copy these down and let's plug in 11 into each of the x's. And that gives us 11 minus 3, which is 8, 11 minus 1, which is 10, 11 plus 1, which is 12, and 11 plus 3, which is 14. And these are our four consecutive positive even integers. Let's put a box around them. How exciting.